get right into it. <laughs> I like how you say new game and then it's like play this game. Oh no, it's asking you to choose which one you want. Trials and tribulations of Mr. Attorney. Justice for all. And Ace Attorney, the classic Telltale series. Here we go, everybody. We're starting this series brand new for the first time. If you like this series, leave a thumbs up in the comments and a subscribe on your notification bell. Let's go, let's hop right into it, everybody. We're gonna solve the solve the ghost, solve solve the mystery. Let's put episode one. Whoa, who's this guy? This guy. This guy's the culprit right here. Look at him looking up like he's cooming. Yeah, wait, back, backspace? Play. Yeah, I guess. Maybe this is the first one. First steps. There's, there's always a first step on a journey. <gasps> oh, it's not like a surprise gasp. It's like an in pain gasp. Or like... After killing someone, gasp. Damn it! Why me? What do you mean, why me? Is that the dead person talking? I can't get caught. Not like this. I've gotta- Oh yeah, I knew it! I was right! I solved the mystery! It's him! Someone like... Him. Whoa. So we already know it's him. I'll make it look like he did it. Him. August 3rd. Whoa. Well, it's that guy. He's the culprit. And uh, you're looking pretty good today. Woo. I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. Off whose bat? There's a lot about you and your clients as well. Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm Mr. Attorney, that's me. I'm, I'm Ace Attorney. I'm, uh, Ace Ventura. <laughs> and Pet Detective. Which one of you guys have pets? Is it you on the left? Oh, you owe my favor, I bet. You knew the defendant before this case? Yes? Is that, like, wrong? Aren't, like, lawyers not supposed to, like, have any sort of personal relations with person? Or may I don't know, maybe it's the other way around. Oh, that's news to me. Breaking news. Lawyer wants to be a lawyer. Lawyer. I really want to help him. Oh no, that's, that's not her, that's Phoenix. I just, I really want to help him. I like how we haven't even seen Phoenix, but like, we know who he is. It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? He's just in the corner, like, full, like, screaming, like, <gasps> Yeah, it's him. Death, despair, desire! I'm gonna die! <laughs> sounds like, hmm. It almost sounds like, whoa, what a, you solved the mystery, Maya. My, my, it almost seems like she wanna die. Ew, what's with his eyes? Is that some sort of condition? Staritis. Larry. Oh, his name's Larry? Looking like Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. <laughs> just like the cops behind him, like, come grab him, drag him into a room, and just inject him with lethal serum. I'm finished. What are you doing? I can't live in a world without her, I can't. Oh, shit. Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? I'm assuming he's talking about the dead girl. Baby? Oh, is it like a pet name? The newspaper says it was you. Oh, man. My name is Phoenix, and my name is Ace Ventura. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Dead person. Solve the mystery. A young woman was among us in her apartment. The guy they arrested was unlucky. The unlucky sap dating her. He's just a young Minecraft sapling. Larry Butts. It's 
usually the butt. <laughs> oh man, I would have bullied him too, honestly. Look at him, look at his fucking weird eye condition. I'm doing like, hey leaky, hey you leaky butt, leaky ass, what's going on? 23 keys. He says terrible luck. It's like luck is like karmic. Like, leave a comment. Do you believe in the in the karmic powers of the universe? Cause I don't really. I don't know. I don't really think somebody's lucky or unlucky. Well, I don't know. Maybe there are lucklets and shit. But oh, oh shit. Okay, guys, we gotta be quiet. Oh, the judge courts down session for Mr. Butts. Precaution, prosecution. Precucio is ready, your honor. The defense is, um, ready, your honor. Uh, Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, your honor, I'm a little bit- Yeah, that's pretty crazy how lawyers just decide the fate of people. Basically. I mean, the judge does, but... Murder is a serious charge for your client's sake. I hope you can control your nerves. Mr. Ventura, given the circumstances and the fact that you fuck dogs, I think we should test your have a test to ascertain your readiness. This is a five-point exam. He just dies on the stand. Oh, answer them clearly and concisely. What's the court record? Loss of blood due to blunt. Okay, we already knew that, basically. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Cindy Stone. It's uh. <laughs> Do you even know the fucking victim's name, you idiot? Of course I know! It's- it's- uh... Cindy! Light- Lacey! Lacey the dog! Wait, is this not a PETA case? I'm in the wrong place. I think, uh, Ace Ventura was- was like a detective? Or like a... What is... This game? Is it like- Well... What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, I know. Mr. Wright, who's the victim? Cinder Block! <laughs> I wonder if you just lose the game if you say the wrong thing. Uh, we're gonna have the water bottle challenge. I'm gonna drink a bottle of water every time I answer a question. The cause of death is blunt fucking blunt smoking. Hit with a blunt object. A blunt object. Struck once. Holy shit. That, uh, businessman must have had one fucking, like, massive arm smack. Mr. Max Payne. Oh, it's, he's Mr. Payne. What was that object? Murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. Really makes you think that there might be more to the world than meets the eye. Court accepts it into evidence. Okay, cool. It's rather heavy. So it'd have to be a man. Mia, like, look at Mia's like, chicken arm. You think she can really fucking kill someone with that, with the thinker? Besides, they don't even think, anyways. Look at that. There's probably nothing in her brain. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Okay. Okay. Alright. Can I throw the badge at the judge? Pretty cool. There's just like a shooter, like the judge is like a, a boss. Who's <laughs> all fucking confident now? He's about to bring the pain. I'm not sure the victim recently dumped you. <laughs> Mark Anthony? Cleopatra? Mark Anthony? Okay. Um, did they all die? <laughs> what is it to you anyway? He's the 
fucking prosecutor. What are you talking about? Holy shit, he's really bringing the pain. It's like he's taking a cigarette and just burning it on his arm. He had just returned overseas with one of them. Wait, sorry, I missed that. Uh, okay. I should really pay more attention, to be honest. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport. Okay. Take a look at that. In Paris on the 7th, the day before the murder. Okay. He was a Frenchman! Oh, oh. He a battu le petit mignon avec son, son petit pain. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. She's an ugly. Oh, she had several, several sugar daddies. Dad daddies? <laughs> He's just a fucking big simp. He's a fucking just total. He's just like a total fucking soy loser with horrible luck. You can clearly see what kind of woman. So Jesus, pain. So yeah, you got dumped by this stupid dumb slut who was whoring around with a bunch of different men. Larry has a way of running his mouth. Answering one. Oh, I think that's a good idea. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. The question is relevant to this case. Oh, yeah, we brought the pain to pain. This is not looking good. No, it is not really looking great. <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe I killed her, maybe I didn't. <laughs> That's like the ultimate defense. Man, what, how, how are you gonna figure out, huh? Fuck idiot. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have an answer, honestly. Okay, maybe that was a bad thing. Dude, chill! She wasn't home, man, so like, I didn't see her. <laughs> what was that? I'm taking ten! Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Oh, fuck. We fell right into that. Oh, come on. This fucking idiot, this fucking big... Was he Indian or Japanese? This guy with the fucking thing on his head. He's clearly not Indian. He's selling newspapers. Mr. Frank saw it. Yeah, he must be like half Indian or something. Newspaper subscriptions. So we already know it's him. So we just have to fuck him over. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he had the door half to open behind him. Thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving. I quailed. Are you a fucking seagull? Phone in your apartment wasn't working. Not a public phone. What, you don't have a cell phone? Mary, why didn't you tell the truth? Phone in the victim's room. Oh shit! Oh fuck. Okay. Can we look at it? Look from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. 
He was there at 1 p.m., right? Let's cross-examine all the cavities of this case. <laughs> oh, this music's sick. What exactly am I supposed to do? Expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? Well, he was lying. Yeah, of course. Okay. Do you have a time limit? Stranger looked inside the apartment. I saw her lying there, woman not moving dead. Oh shit! Oh shit! Frankly, I find that hard to believe, you fucking bitch! Take my evidence right up your ass! Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death sometime after 4 p.m. There's nobody to, no body to find at 1 p.m. <laughs> Can I get a laugh track on that? Let me explain this three hour gap. Oh, we got him now. This is trivial! Witness merely forgot the time! No. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Selway, are we so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, gee, that's a really good question! Yeah, you motherfucker. Let's see what else? Day before the murder. Let's just see. Okay, let's keep in mind all of this. Okay, so... Nice. Point out the contradictions. Okay. Eyes always beget more lies. See through one and their whole story falls apart. Oh, this game's sick. I like this. Wait, I remember now. I'm gonna suck at it though, I just want you to know. When I found the body, I heard the time. There's a voice saying the time is probably coming from the television. Okay. I got this. No, I really do got this. Okay. So now we fuck him up by saying... You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. I'm gonna press him on that. So you heard something. You so soft by the body, you wouldn't hear anything at all. Objection! Hold it right there! The prosecution has said that there was a blackout at the time of the discovery, and this record proves it. 
<laughs> I like the fucking hand thing. Alright, Miss Ace Attorney. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Yeah, you fucking Indian. You should know. You should know how technology works. You fucking. You fucking Indian, bro. Wait, I remember now. Are harming your credibility. Uh, you seem rather distraught. <laughs> I like how his wig goes up. My apologies, Your Honor. It uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. Well, you couldn't have been shocked because there was a blackout, you fucking idiot. There you go, Mr. Sawit. Sawit. It must be Indian, I don't know. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. I was eating curry at my local truck stop and smoking a cigarette. Actually, I didn't hear the time, I saw it. There's a table clock. In there. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Okay, so this guy's just a fucking idiot. Table clock that was used as a weapon. And then. Oh, I can't present it until he's done speaking. Okay, so like holding it is just a way to like. Pressing them is a way to get them to say things that they normally wouldn't. So. I'm gonna present this. So I know it's just the first like level, but it's still like. So good for me to like learn the ins and outs, and I'm, so, I'm sure there'll be more to it like later on. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. You must have had the wrong time. It was a statue. Now how's this supposed to be a clock? In your evidence, who do you think you are? Just answer the. I, I'm Ace Ventura, pet detective. <laughs> she just six like a bunch of dogs on him. <laughs> I hope I hope you dogs like Indian food. <laughs> if I may. Yes, Mr. Max Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. Oh shit. Oh. But wait, if he didn't... Yes. The only way he could have known the weapon was Pock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Oh shit. Clearly a contradiction. Witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. Inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Yeah, prove it. Prove it. I went there. You better that. I can prove that you were the one who killed her. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder will open. Spoke. That's why you were so certain about the time. No, it's not. Just look at the witness's face. Get fucked, you stupid idiot. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? Obviously he's not gonna say it. That day I never looked. The clock I heard, no, I mean I saw it. <laughs> Oh, 
Order, order in the court. Okay. Try by sounding the clock. Ask the court to listen very carefully. Oh shit! It <laughs> really makes you think, after all. The clock was among us the whole time. We're the attorney among us. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Oh shit! It's exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between the act. Uh, oh shit! Try and talk your way out of this one, you slimy little Indian. <laughs> He's not even Indian. Can I? Can we just like? Can I just like scale his like the color here? I'm just gonna change it just to fit him better the rest of this. What you talking about now? Well, it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow, slow the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. You lawyers are all slime. Like Minecraft? Poor Larry. Oh shit! Think. Why was the clock three hours slow? It must be your flight from Paris. That's the only... Take that! <laughs> Take that! So we all know the time difference between here in Paris is 9 hours. And it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. Hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. Proof enough, you greasy fucking monkey? Or should I say, Mr. I Did It? Mr. Wolf Among Us? Oh Jesus! Holy fuck! <laughs> Uh, arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say I'm impressed. Another fucking animal put in the cage from fucking Ace Ventura. Completed defense so quickly. Finally, the true call for it. At this point, this is only a formality, but court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Hell yeah. Why is there confetti in a fucking courtroom? <laughs> they just have like a guy hanging from the ceiling, just like. like <laughs> Mr. Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posted in a newspaper salesman. Oh shit. Searching the victim return, flustered. Oh shit, and beat her ass! Yeah! Oh! We play the clip, play the clip! Oh! <laughs> that, that's, of course you would expect that from me, Ace Ventura, pet detective. That, that's me. I owe it all to you, Chief. 
Thanks, Chief. Isn't there a Chief in Ace Ventura? I, I've never actually seen the movie. Well, whatever happened to fucking Jim Carrey? Didn't he, he's like insane, isn't he? It's like fucking. Uh, I remember this one like distinct thing that always stuck uh, with me. It was like uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Neutron on like late night shows. Stephen Colbert. That's he's not Jimmy, but he's pretty close. Uh, fucking Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. He's on Jimmy Kimmel. Fucking, I'll, I'll play the clip. I'll put it like right on Mia's face. Uh, he's like, he like walks up into the show and and he's like staring at the crowd and they're like applauding like, woo, yeah, woo, it's him, it's really him, it's, it's Eggman. And then, and then like <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel comes up like, behind him and he's like. Hi, excuse me, I'm here. Like, hello, we're doing a show. And he just, he's like, he's like, all right, yeah, thanks. And then he like keeps staring into the crowd, just like emotionless. It's fucking hilarious. No, anyways, fucking Larry. Uh, she was, uh, nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Wait, who's Harry? <laughs> Congratulations, Harry. Yo, is it? Harry, Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> Come on! I won't forget this. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh hey, here, take this. It's a present, the murder weapon that I'm for some reason walking around with. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, the thinker. So, I was so into that chick. And she was just playing me for a fool. Yeah, that's what you get for being a fucking simp. Honestly. Like, squeeze me! What are you fucking... Some sort of anime character? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not sympathizing, really. I don't really give a shit. It's fucking tier 3 sub. Fucking... Okay. What? Oh man, I showed him the wrong thing. I don't know why I showed him my fucking badge. Oh man, I should have been paying more attention. Uh, looks like you really gotta be on the ball this time. You never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe them, you have to believe in yourself. You believe in the me that believes in you. Grow strong. Anime up. Shall we be off? I guess so. Oh, 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 would you like dinner, dessert, or me? <laughs> Innocent butts. Same part of why. Uh, okay. Over drinks. Man, she's really trying to fuck us. She's gonna fuck hard. Larry slapped me on the back. Good to have friends. He's not gonna pay us unless you count the clock. Obviously, he's not gonna pay you. The clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. My promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, that's the end of this episode, guys. Thank you for coming along with me. Next time, we will watch Turnabout Sisters. Or we'll play, watch, well, let's play, watch. Watch the let's play. It wasn't a watch, it was a clock. Alright, so we're going to save, guys. And, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching episode one of Ace Attorney. And uh, catch you guys next time on The Wolf Among Us.